the Bill O'Reilly saga continues a week after the revelation of his on-air prejudiced shock that a conduct at a black-owned New York City restaurant would be the same as at any non-black-owned New York City restaurant, that nobody was shouting, I want more iced tea, MFR. In our third story in the countdown, with the perspective provided by that week, it is evident that the principal issue now is how to defend yourself from O'Reilly Unplugged. We responded to this story by threatening to come after, hunt down all those who criticized him and added he fantasized about strangling all of us. Tonight, using state-of-the-art video techniques, we show you what to expect when an O'Reillyist attacks and how to defend yourself. O'Reilly himself prolonged the story today after most of the media had moved on, writing today that this is not about what he said, that it's about some evil conspiracies, quote, advancing their insane far-left view of the world to try to destroy anyone who disagrees with it. Of course, destroying people is the point of the threats O'Reilly made last week, the ones against which we must all be vigilant. These people aren't away with this. I'm going to go right where they live. Every corrupt media person in this country is on notice right now. I'm coming after you. I'm going to hunt you down. And I mean it. The smear stops here. You're all on notice out there. I'm coming for you. You know, look, if I could strangle these people, and not go to hell and get executed? You're not going to I would, <laughs> but I no, can't. No. Mr. O'Reilly's reference to hunting you down and coming after you is a dead giveaway that he plans another onslaught of attacks by his stalker producers, the ones who followed Denver Post TV writer Joanne Ostro from her home to a supermarket, who dogged WashingtonPost.com blogger Bill Arkin, who tried to do the same thing to Florida Judge Manuel Lopez until Judge Lopez called the cops and they nearly arrested O'Reilly's guy. An example of the process. Bill Arkin, how you doing? Fox News. How's it going? To Mr. Arkin, can we talk to you about some of the comments that you made? Yeah. Can you leave me alone for just a second? Actually, no, we'd like to talk to you for a second. How could you say what you said? I mean, don't you think that was really hurtful and harmful to the military families, to the soldiers serving in Iraq? Let's address this. Now, the safest thing to do is to assume that Bill is sending one of these junior jag-offs with a camera to stalk us. And I do mean us. I'm the smearmonger. You're the smearmongeree. You're or whatever. So if we know they're coming, how do we protect ourselves? How do we keep Bill o from getting anything that he would want or even legally could put on the air? So tonight, the special segment we call How to Talk to Bill O'Reilly's Stalker Producer in a Way that Guarantees the Interview Does Not Get on the Air. And like Judge Lopez in Florida, we can't immediately get the cops to come by at the drop of a falafel, so here's what we laymen have to do. We have to carefully prepare our answers. Now, you might think putting up an argument is the right way to go, the intellectual approach, but watch and learn from our simulated interaction with a Bill O. stalker producer just how wrong that really is. And how you doing? Fox News. Can we talk to you about some of the comments that you made? Yeah, well, you know, as, as the great philosopher Marcus Aurelius said in, in Germany in 49 A.D., Wrong. Next thing you know, Billow's launched into some old Europe diatribe, and he gets to explain how his boycott of France led to that country going bankrupt or something. Here, an example, too, is another response that instinctively sounds right, but isn't. And how you doing? Fox News. Can we talk to you about some of the comments that you made? Well, as the great uh, Roman philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, uh, if Bill O'Reilly wants to strangle somebody, I'll show you strangling somebody. Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> Again, satisfying, but Bill now has exactly what he wants, and even Fox Security might get involved. So, no, nor in our third example is this final simulated interaction the right path. And how you doing? Fox News. Can we talk to you about some of the comments that you made? Yeah. Bill O'Reilly and Roger Ailes and Tucker Rupert Murdoch. Very nice. Now you're also the lead story on Shepard Smith and probably hardball. No, intellectual, physical, or scatological arguments are just not going to work. You're being ambushed by Bill O'Reilly's minion from hell. You have to fight fire with fire. You, as in example number four, ambush back. Mr. Olbermann, you have a comment? Yeah. You know, I do, Scooby-Doo. It's like when I was at the uh, World War II memorial at Momedy, and I was saying, see, that tape will never run. Bill O cannot afford to have his disastrous insistence that the Americans were the war criminals at Malmody mentioned on his comedy show. You have just rendered the interview unusable. Congratulations. But he still might edit you down and run something. So there is a stronger weapon yet to employ, as shown in our simulated interaction, example five. Mr. Olbermann, you have a comment? Yeah, yeah, I do. Funny, I was, I was just saying to Andrea Macris the other day, 
Again, an interview killing moment. But just to be sure, the countdown board has recommended we all learn and employ yet a third self-defense mechanism when we are inevitably ambushed by little Jesse or little Porter from Fox Noise and the O'Reilly Factor Fiction. Mr. Olbermann, you have a comment? Huh? Hey, are you the, are you the kid who picks up Bill O'Reilly's loofahs? Or um, does he get his loofahs himself? Or uh, does he belong to one of those like loofah of the month clubs where you get a subscription and the loofahs are sent directly to your house so you have a constant supply of loofahs? And there you have it. When the O'Reilly minion comes to your door to wreak revenge by proxy because Bill is too scared to try to do it himself, just keep your wits about you and keep those three words in your head. Repeat them in any combination, intelligible or not, and you will be safe when the O'Reillyist attack inevitably comes. Malmody, Macris, Lufa.